Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone by Shem Rakak Wadash. My name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. This is Ugly Neocolonial System is Dead Putin. A new multilateral world order is inevitable, the president stated. So you have the East doing more business with each other as the Russian Federation divorces more so from the West. Now, certain things they're still going to agree on. They're still going to agree on the implant. That, that's inevitable. Just like uh, a multilateral world is inevitable. They're still going to agree on certain things. Even though they're separate, they're going to agree on certain things. They're still going to trade with each other, each other on a certain level. Uh, so just because uh, the East, say the East is uh, going to do more business with each other and the West is going to stick closer to each other, they're still going to it's still going to be crossover because they're all going to agree. According to prophecy, they're all going to agree to use the new medium for the financial system, which is going to be the implant chip. It says Russia has significantly boosted trade with nations who do not bow to foreign pressure, meaning Western pressure, Europe, America. This once again uh, proving that the world has abandoned the old neo-colonial system. Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin, or Vlad for short, had said on Friday, humanity is now progressing toward a new multipolar arrangement, he said. So a new age, in other words, a new time period. After being subjected to Western economic pressure, Russia did not choose self-isolation and instead boosted cooperation with some of the key drivers of the world economy. The Russian leader said in his speech at the St. Petersburg uh, International Economic Forum, uh, SPIEF, Spife on Friday. Our trade with some of the nation's world, some of the nations whose leaders would not submit to the oft brazen foreign pressure, meaning Western American and European, as we talk about foreign, and are guided by their own national interests rather than those of others, has grown by several times rather than by dozens of percents. Putin stated, describing Russia's foreign uh, position in the world economy yet so this is yet further proof that common sense business energy and objective market laws are stronger than political considerations he added right. Putin's uh, speeches speech was focused on the changes in the Russian economy since last year's uh, spife uh, spiff which he also intended. He provided his assessment that the government's policy choices, which were made amid confrontations with the U.S. and its allies, have proven to be correct. The president cited low inflation rates, record low unemployment, positive changes in the structure of Russian exports, among other indicators. Uh, so they're saying they, they're doing okay, uh, despite you know selling oil to germany and europe so i'm not sure exactly how much oil is going in the in the europe i'm sure some is going in europe or they may have cut it all the way off i didn't check in a while so the point is the age the age we're, we're moving into a different age or a different time period we look the word uh, eon eon up you have or ion ion Eon or Ion, pronounced the Iota. All right, you have now. This is the the root of the word that's actually there. So you look at um, like uh, you look this up. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. You have Ionis. And then the root of that is Ion. All right. So 
So we're going to look, it says, forever and unbroken age, per perpetuity of time, eternity, worlds, universe. Doesn't mean it's world, worlds and universes. That's the last definition. Or it don't, or it don't exist. A time period, uh, age, uh, forever, uh, unbroken age. Uh, unbroken age. So uh, unbroken age or ages, plural, like Ionis is plural. That's why you would say in English you would translate it for like forever. We would put Ionis. So let's think I got an example here. Um, we're in time past. This is not forever. This is world. We're in time past. You walked according to the course of this world. We got Iona. Right. The period or time, period of time. Like what what things are going on in this particular time period? All right. According to the prince of the power to air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So yeah, I got Iona or Iona, Iona, which describes the time period of right now. Uh, this current age, we're in the time, we're in t time past. You walked according to the course of this age, of this, the course of this time period. All right. Yeah, what else we got? We got uh, the care of this, this time period. End of this age or end of this time period. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. All right. Talos, Ionas. It's probably there. Or Telus. This is uh, Mark 1030, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands uh, with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. All right. What the time period, the age, the world to come eternal life. That so we can switch back in the world to come, eternal life, All right? And what in a time period of time, the age, unbroken age, the unbroken age to come because because Jacob's kingdom is going to be uh, what well, the Lord's kingdom, uh, which he's going to reign over Jacob, it's going to be an unbroken age, all right with no end u telos I think I have that in first uh, Luke the first chapter alright so we're going to Luke the first chapter alright because we're moving into a different age alright you had the age that we moved into where uh, what, Homeland Security Homeland Security was non-existent before 2001 before the, uh, the towers Twin Towers in New York City fell and this this uh, alleged terrorist attacks that was from some, some Saudi nationals all right which they use as an excuse to to uh destroy Iraq and Afghanistan all right they were doing multiple operations under the guise of Saudi nationals uh hijacking airplanes it says uh Luke 133 well Luke 1 and 31 and behold thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shalt call his name Yahweh Shai all right because the word Jesus is a made-up word don't really exist he shall the inventions of translators all right into English he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the lord god shall give him give shall give unto him the throne of his father david all right so that's how we know again that uh <laughs> yahweh shai is solomon 
All right. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. All right. Let's look that up. We got Oikon, that's the house. We got Ionis, which means forever or ever, or unbroken age, a time period. Kaites and Basilias, kingdom, his Uk, Uk, I said Uk, no, shall be. Telos end should be no end all right so this the age that Yahusha is going to reign is not going to be an end all right this is an unbroken age Ionis which which is going to be no end well it's unbroken it's just uh answering this is how Israel talks it talks in twos and threes we're trying to prove a point we'll give We'll talk and then we'll give like several examples after it. So you could just leave it. You don't have to have the telos there. But that's that's the uh, to, for it to be an unbroken age. Like a perpetual age. All right. But it added there two and three times to further prove the point that it's going to be a kingdom that it's never going to end. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. We got Telos. Or tell us. Uk. Termination or no termination. The limit at which a thing ceases to be. Alright. So move so the point is we're moving into a different time period. The things are going to change. They have the thing about the electric cars thing that Biden said that I think after 20, let me look it up real quick. It's a new age. So I'll put in ban on gasoline cars 2035. It's Yale University. It says EU countries have approved an end to the sale of sale of gas powered cars in 2035. Allowing the ban to enter into force this is a vote on on tuesday the european council has taken an important step towards zero emissions mobility not zero emissions manufacturing zero emissions mobility because manufacturing you still produce you know well <laughs> carbon dioxide is not air pollution i don't know these people are fucking insane um all right so that's 2035 so that's uh what 12 years here it's 2023 now, 23rd, 2025 to 2025, 2035 will be 10 years, so about 12 years. Gasoline cars, let's see, in America. What's the. All of the planned bans are in coastal states, in addition oh, to California and Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, and Washington have made the commitment to stop allowing sales of new gas powered vehicles after 2035 all right so 12 years you got into it so this is the one point is that this is the eight we're, mo we're moving into different ages all right or time periods that's the way to best describe it because it's more in the english anyway time period age or phase all right so you have different phases, different time periods in which we're moving into, and right? where they're creating new laws. They're um, banning certain things. All right, we moved into one when they announced it, and we won't move into another when it's ac actually implemented. And we're all in the Lord's timetable. So if He allows us to make it that far to which this ban is, that means the twenty thirty six. Let's say at twenty thirty six, every man your car manufacturer. It's going to have to have electric electric vehicles for mobility and the manufacturing process is still going to produce uh, you know, air pollution and waste but when the car actually gets on the road it's going to be zero 
zero emissions. Emissions that we know about anyway. <laughs> oh. That they're re- 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 readily emitting. They mean like uh, gases and chemicals from the uh, burning of fuels is what they mean. There could be other electrical effects, but that's what they mean. But it comes like burn, burning, burning fuels. All right. So phase, typed in phase, a major, any of the major appearances or aspects in which a thing of varying modes or conditions manifests itself to the eye or mind. A stage in a process of change or development. So that's a big that's 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 big news. So Europe and America are both on a 2035 thing for zero emissions. So I'm not sure if they're excluding what well, they said ban on gas powered cars. I don't know if they're talking about gas in general or on or, or they or they uh, incorporating hybrids. So let me type that in. Let's see. Does ban include hybrids? Try that. Will hybrids be banned in 2035? The EU recently banned new sales of gas powered cars, including plug in hybrids and Anything else that can burn, it's not fossil fuels, but burn f- fuels starting in 2035. California and New York enacted similar bans that also take effect in 2035. Those sales of some plug in hybrids will still be allowed there. So they're basically trying to get rid of internal combustion engines. Well, how are they going to get rid of generators? Diesel generators that need to power hospitals. These are generated in case of the power outages. These are generated. They need to power these huge manufacturing plants that are in all uh, manufacturing plants that produce electronics, that produce microchips, that produce medical equipment. You still need uh, diesel engines, all right, for emergency backups. But they guys, they got a plan to use that damn battery power packs or well, caterpillar they have different companies that produce generators that are diesel well it's got some information on that so just as uh, russia china those different countries in the east are banding together that you have the uh the bricks they're banding together they're still going to agree to a point but the point is that we're moving into different phases in the world different time periods in which there in which there's going to be change all right and we gotta prepare for it all right because yeah shy said he comes coming quickly but we still have to uh, endure for whatever time period that is all right so i mean i think i made my point uh, it has this lesson has been a uh, time period, age. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna name it, but something along those lines. Um, now you understand what is meant when you see ever world, world, world. Oh, I got one more point. One more point. Uh, had Esau. Esau. How can I forget about Esau? You got um, sec, uh, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, in my, I, I, my, in my Greek book, I don't have 2nd Ezra, I only have 1st Ezra. So, I looked up the Latin version of 2nd um, Ezra. Finis enum. Husis secula isa et principum sequentis ecob. Secula is age. All right. So we know that Esau is going to be in power 
during the age before Jacob. All right, because I what I read of Luke one thirty three, and shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom sh there shall be no uktilas. All right, there shall be no end. So we know that the principal nation that's going to be ruling is going to be the nation of Israel, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. All right, then the other nations are going to be under Jacob because right? they're not going to be saved, they're going into slavery, according to the Bible. All right, according to the Apocalypse of John, the Apocalypse of John says that the nations are going into slavery and the Lord is going to reign over the house of Jacob. Yeah, the Lord is Yahweh Shai. All right, so we got this is over here, but let the Latin speak, the Google speak Latin. Fini seni muius seculi esau, et principium sequentis Jacob. I was on mute. Uh, for Esau is the end of the, this age, and Jacob is the beginning of the next. Alright, so that's clear. So the world, the world is not talking about the whole circumference of the earth. The world is talking about the age, the time period, seculi. Who says seculi? Finis eni muius seculi esau, et principium sequentis Jacob. All right. So we know, for Esau is the end of the of this age, and Jacob beginning of the next all right so we know that the end when Esau is goes down all right he's going to be one of the thrones that's cast down so I beheld all the thrones were cast down I believe that's Daniel 7 if I'm not mistaken look that up all right and he shall reign over the house of Jacob so we know that the end is coming to Esau, all right, and Jacob is going to rise under Yahweh Shai, all right. So there's nothing, nothing in between that, all right. You got Esau ruling, the Esau going down, and Jacob is rising under the authority of Yahweh Shai, all right, the son of David. All right. So although these nations are banding together. The end, they're going to agree. They're going to agree on certain points. The implant, they're going to agree on. So those are the two major ages, the end of Esau and the beginning of Jacob. And then you have ages in between, which are different um, phases. I'm going out here. Stage and process of change and development. You have different phases. Yeah, you on the Tulos. Different time periods in which, you know, different laws are going to come into effect that are going to affect, you know, our lives. So if we make it to 2035, 2036 is if you purchase a new car, I don't know what they're going to do about the diesel gen the generators that's powered all these manufacturing plants that you have to have. All right. What are you going to do? Are they going to switch over or not? We're moving to a different. We're moving into different phases, different time periods, and we gotta prepare, right? Because we're at the Lord's mercy. We're on the Lord's time. So that's the meaning of age, ages, perpetuity, world. All right, they all center around ion or eon. Alright, so hope you edify Shalom.